Hi, I haven't seen uh, an Eve Lander yet uh, in 1.0, so here's mine. But this is uh, a preliminary version, so it's not a complete craft yet. It cannot go to uh, Eve yet. This is just the Lander. So you can see that it is somewhat similar that uh, my previous uh, version of the Eve Lander was. It has some similar ideas, but it is heavier uh, and it is not as capable, at least not yet. Uh, as the other one was. It also uses main cells instead of uh, skippers. Uh, and uh, the thing is, this is because of the thrust to weight ratio. Now uh, it was fixed, so the thrust is changed uh, with uh, the, the pressure of the atmosphere. And in fact, the thrust can go lower than on carbon in a thicker atmosphere, which we have uh, on EVE. So they will have a very low uh, thrust uh, at sea level on EVE but even uh, uh, at higher altitudes. So that's why uh, I can't use the skippers. Uh, this is why uh, the uh, the whole thing is much heavier because of course uh, the main cells uh, have to consume a, lo a lot more fuel. And in fact, the, the whole uh, ship is, uh, is uh, built around some specific limits, uh, what you will see during the uh, launching from uh, the surface. So now this cannot go to the uh, to the orbit of Eve yet. So I have to cheat my uh, way there. And uh, obviously, because I don't have hyper edit, uh, uh, the way was to do the Pullman's version just uh, to uh, edit the save file. So I just use some text data, basically used here Notepad. Just looked for uh, the name of the craft, uh, which was uh, Eve again. The situation has to be orbiting all capitals. Uh, landed is false. Semi major axis from the center of the planet, not from the surface. Eccentricity almost zero, so it's a circular orbit. And uh, the index of the planet changed to Eve. So now when I load back, it will orbit Eve. However, when I press F9, it also deactivated the video. Uh, the recording, I mean. So uh, I had to start again, but I had to start several times again because of a peculiar problem. There are these uh, side ladders uh, on the science package to, uh, uh, to the two, two sides of the craft, and uh, whatever I do, they almost always overheat. I put them behind heat shield. I angled them uh, so that they were completely behind the heat shield, and they just uh, they were not uh, vertical but uh, somewhat angled, so they could be put behind the heat shield completely and even then they overheated. Actually they overheated faster that way than now. Uh, now the side is sticking out, they are just uh, normal ladders, so they are completely vertical now. And there is a way to avoid it now, so just uh, pitching the craft up and down a little bit and that uh, somehow distributes the heating. But they also had to deactivate uh, or disable the heat uh, bars or displays because uh, that causes the game to crash after a while, probably some memory leak because yeah, 32 bits for gigabyte RAM and if they uh, if it's con constantly allocating then yeah, here is my pitching so this is actually a yaw axis but it's it's, it's pitching uh, so if it's constantly allocating they're allocating something with a memory leak of course it will uh, run out of memory uh, fast and I, I think it's it's very close to, to the point where it uh, uh, it crashes at least normally, but if the uh, heat bars are on, then it will crash very soon after one or two minutes. So it's going down, and the uh, the heat shields are depleting uh, the oblator. Yeah. And as soon as uh, the speed uh, went down to reasonable levels, I could uh, open the parachute. It actually it cannot turn uh, on, on itself without uh, uh, the parachutes, and then I release the heat shields. I have to do it th in this order because if I release the heat shields first, then they can hit the craft again. So 
the safest way is to uh, have the top uh, pointing upwards and then release the uh, heat shields. Even now they hit each other, so that was the ex explosion. And uh, with, because of the landing gears, it can tolerate uh, quite uh, uh, fast uh, or, in this case, uh, slopey uh, landing. Or, or I mean, it's on a slope, and it will work out fine. Of course, not on water, but it cannot come uh, up from sea level yet, at least not yet. So two kilometers is the best it can do. And this is uh, where we are now. So the science package stays here. This is just a demonstration of flag blue, whatever. Uh, so, uh, and I go straight up. So uh, the last two of these uh, mainsails have to start at least at two kilometers because uh, otherwise they will not have the thrust uh, uh, to to the thrust to weight ratio to. Uh, um, Increase the altitude. Uh, this is also true for uh, these uh, uh, this second part, where ranges have to start at least at 10 kilometers. And the third part, uh, uh, with the smaller engines, uh, they need to be started at least at 30 kilometers. And this is why I'm going straight straight up. Otherwise, it will not make it. And to make it, I would need to add more fuel to the uh, lower stages, which would mean at least 100 tons. Uh, so. I think it uh, doesn't worth it. Uh, it. It simply isn't worth it uh, at the moment uh, to to uh, do a, th a, a more a better uh, better orbital insertion. So at least I, I think I, I went at least up to 35 kilometers when, when I could start these small engines. But up to that point, uh, 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 from that point, uh, uh, they uh, I doing doing quite well, so they can push this into uh, a circular orbit. And there was even a tiny bit of fuel remaining. And in fact, there is an emergency uh, delta V in the lander can uh, from the monopropellant uh, with two, two uh, monopropellant engines, which can still uh, help. But of course, then it's, uh, consuming the docking fuel. And even uh, uh, the tiny separatrons on the uh, last stage can push uh, uh, the lander can somewhat uh, by the axis house, so it's uh, it's a li uh, also a tiny little bit of help if that is needed, but it still cannot come up from uh, sea level. So there is a lot of work to be done, and yes, there has to be a, cr uh, a complete ship to carry this around, not to mention to put this to curve in orbit. Uh, but uh, sometime I will have time for that. So thanks for watching, bye.